Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is a demonstration of the ReefKeeper 2. It comes with a power bar with eight fully controllable outlets, two of which have full relays. It has three connectors, the temperature probe, the pH probe, and the controller display. It also comes with an adapter, so you can attach it to your computer for firmware updates, a CD with instructions, and the temperature probe itself. There are four main reasons why people purchase controllers like these. First reason is safety. A controller like this protects you from the most common aquarium disasters involving overheating and extreme pH swings. It's important to implement measures to stop these disasters before they happen because if you plan on keeping your reef up long term, the chances are you'll encounter at least one of the more common equipment failures. And of course the longer your reef tank is up, the more expensive and devastating a complete crash can be. Controllers like this can also save you an incredible amount of money by consolidating all of your equipment into one compact unit. Controllers also help you create stability in the aquarium by stabilizing temperature and pH swings. The longer you have your reef up, the more important you'll realize this is. It's also extremely convenient to monitor and control all of your aquarium's functions from one unit. This also removes the ugly mess of wires and timers from your cabinet. One of the most common causes for a tank crash is overheating due to your heater's thermostat failure, a chiller failure, particularly hot days, or your home's air conditioning gets turned off or fails. The Reef Keeper 2 is completely capable of helping you avoid all of these issues. The most common of these is going to be the thermostat failure inside of your inexpensive heater. Most frequently you will get stuck in the on position, which of course will overheat the tank. I would venture to say that a large portion of people who have had their tank up for more than a few years have encountered a thermostat failure. The Reef Keeper 2 has its own high quality thermostat and is capable of turning off the heater if it were ever to get stuck on. Setting up your temperature control is extremely easy. Simplify the heater function and set it to the desired temperature. This will cut off the supply of power if it reaches the set temperature. Next you can set up a fan to turn on and off at desired temperatures. This will help to control the heat from the lighting system or if it's a particularly hot day. The Reef Keeper 2 is also capable of controlling a chiller. You can have it turn on at set points if the fan isn't capable of controlling the temperature on its own. And lastly you can set up the controller to turn off your lighting if the tank is still getting too hot. This protects you against a variety of things including particularly hot days, if your chiller were to ever malfunction or get unplugged, or if your home's air conditioning failed or accidentally got turned off during the peak of summer. The Reef Keeper 2 is also capable of controlling equipment based on the aquarium's pH. This is extremely helpful for people who use Kalkweiser in their auto top-off systems as well as calcium reactor users. Another one of the most common causes for aquarium crashes is overdose of Kalkweiser because the auto top-off switch failed. Most auto top-off systems utilize mechanical float switches. While they work in the short term, they always seem to fail in the long term. Eventually a snail will crawl up on it and stop it from being turned off. Or salt creep or other debris gets it stuck. This is where the pH control comes in. You can use the Reef Keeper to turn off power to your auto top-off pump if the pH were ever to go over a preset point. This ensures that even if the float switches were to get stuck on, the aquarium wouldn't be flooded with Kalkweiser. This can also help you stabilize your pH throughout the entire day. Many aquarists don't realize how much money units like this can actually save. If you were to only use the RK2 as a pH controller and dual temp controller, you would save $112.90 over purchasing them separately. If you also used it to time your lights as well as dosing pumps, this would be another $80 for a total savings of $192. If you were to utilize the RK2's wave maker function, it would save you an additional $160 for a total savings of $353.75. And lastly, if you were to use the pH control function to control two different pieces of equipment, it would save you an additional $189 for a total savings of $542.80.
While it's doubtful that you'd actually use every single feature that the ReefKeeper 2 has, you can see that even if you used only a few of its functions, it's easily the most economical solution.